Once we've recited the order back to the customer, that's when I like to throw in an upsell. Simply asking anything else is not an upsell. We sell Domino's products, so let's offer Domino's products. All right, Andrew, we have two medium hand-tossed pizzas, one ham, one beef, and your total is $15.59. Today, we have a special going for a 16-piece parm bite for $1.99. Would you like to add that on? I focus on the parm bites because I think it's a great price point at $1.99. I think it's just right. It's not too expensive. Even at $1.99, it's also a very good food cost, which is another reason I focus on it. And so in this case, and in most cases, the mix and match deal is our most redeemed coupon in all stores. And we know it has poor food costs. And so when you upsell an item with good food costs, you bring that number back in line to what we're looking for. Some items have natural triggers for upsells. So if I upsell a parm bite, I'm automatically triggered, I'm gonna offer dipping cups. Today, we have two for a dollar. If you complete an upsell, it's important to give the new total to the customer. You don't need to recite everything back because we've already done it prior to upselling, but let's give them their new total with the Parm Bites. All right, Andrew, your new total with the Parm Bites and dipping cups is 1883. Upselling is important, it helps raise sales, but it also helps lower costs if you do it correctly.